Fantastic. Yours? Oh, just one nipple. Nice. Living the dream. <laughs> yeah. This is your coffee here. Perfect. We're going to put in a nice little pouch for you. Perfect. And you're all set. Okay, all right. thank you. Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks Catherine. Catherine. You, you enjoy the rest of your day, okay? All right, Let's thank go. you. Thanks, bye. Bye. Oh, pretty. It's going to be really nice for a while when it's just perfect like that. Yeah. I remember getting a windshield on my Mustang. And it's just like, wow, it's so clear. You don't realize all the little tiny chips. So nice windshield. They even put that back on for us. I went through insurance, so I decided to pay the deductible and, and I wanna hang this up. Connor sent us this. I was thinking maybe putting it on the rear view mirror. What do you think? Sure, will it fit? I don't know, we'll have to, it won't fit over it, but I don't know where else to put it. Oh, right here. Here we go. There you go, Connor. Thank you. Nice. And Carol reminded me we did go into Glacier Bay uh, when we were on our cruise in Alaska. Yeah. All right, let's get this beast home. All done here at Speedy Auto Glass. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well today. I, I basically edited all day and uh, did my thumbnail for the next video, which is the IHOP video. So um, I started editing it yesterday, finished it today, went through it a bunch of times with a fine tooth comb. Carol's off to dinner with a bunch of her friends from where she used to work. And uh, I'm home alone tonight, unless Ben comes home early. I was thinking of getting a quote on a couple little rust spots on this. I just don't want them to spread. And so we asked the lady if she had any hints as to where to go. And she said, you know, whatever you do, just get three different companies, get three different quotes, and also look at all the reviews. She offered one place, she said they're pretty good, but they are, backlog to go they're really busy and they take a very long time i'm not sure if they take a long time in the work or because they're so busy it takes a long time to get in to get your vehicle done so yeah she said i think one was over by i'll, I'll give them all a call and then we'll do another run around vlog to go to all the different uh auto body shops in barry and, and bradford and we'll see who uh, who has the best reviews and the best prices and the best work. You know what I'm saying? There goes a Sprinter. Whenever I buy a new car or I get something like this done to my car, vehicles, like I'm so paranoid that something is gonna happen. Get another stone chip right away or you get into a, a car accident and it wrecks. Uh, what you just fixed. I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way. I'm like, I'm like really aware right now and just making sure nobody's gonna hit me. Last winter when um, I was cleaning the snow off the front of the, the vehicle, there was a lot of ice. And when I was scraping the ice, I hit the windshield washer fluid um, clip. Some vehicles have those little nozzles that just spray the water. This has a hose that goes up onto the winch, windshield wiper arm and uh, then there's a clip that holds it on and it uh, got broken when I was cleaning the ice off uh, with a ice scraper. So I wanna get that clip, get a new clip and put that on and uh, make sure, cause right now I don't think it's aimed at the windshield. I think it's aimed like down instead of up because the clip keeps moving. I used a twist tie for temporarily and uh, that seems to work great, but eventually over time it moves. So I meant to ask you guys, how did you like the audio in the uh, Cracker Barrel video? Because I, I actually had, I'm not sure if you noticed, I actually had 
a microphone when I wore my plaid shirt, my lumberjack shirt. Uh, I had a, a clip-on mic and then the, the recorder in my pocket. And uh, then I brought that into Final Cut Pro along with the footage from the iPhone. And then now you have an audio clip, a video clip with audio, and then you sync them together in Final Cut Pro X. It eliminates the audio that's on the video uh, and then replaces it with the audio from this microphone. And uh, then you put a couple filters on it, adjust it a little bit, and away you go. So it helps bring down the music that was in the background, other people's tables, noise, uh, so I'd love your feedback on the microphone. I already got a, some feedback from Thomas Becca. He said, oh, I really like the audio because I think I think uh, Thomas is one of those people that when I videotape in a restaurant, the noise level of the restaurant is very distracting and, and annoying. And uh, I think he's commented on that before. So when I went to New York, was one of the first times I used it in a long time. I bought those two mics for Paul and I to do on the cook and review um, to try and get the microphone of the camera away from the cooking because the cooking's loud he has the you know the uh, fan on but I think we used them maybe once but it was a lot of extra work and uh, it wasn't it wasn't worth the extra work to do that but because I knew I was going to be probably eating in the Cracker Barrel a couple times maybe three times that I needed that audio security so that's what I used. Uh, another thing I've discovered too is it's best to not turn the mic off. Just before you go in the restaurant, turn it on, hit record, don't touch it until you leave the restaurant. Because when I was in New York, when I didn't want to record anymore, I'd shut it off and then, uh, or stop recording. I said those magic words again that made this thing stop. See, I almost said it again. And something happened to the last audio clip. So the breakfast, I had the uh, microphone inside my uh, hoodie, just on the inside of my collar. And uh, I don't know where that audio went. Uh, either I didn't hit the record button properly. Um, it's not the easiest thing to maneuver. You gotta like click, pull it down to turn it on. Then it takes a bit of time to spin up and turn on. Then you have to press slide this little thingy up to make it record and then it usually tells you that it's recording and i swear that i saw that it was recording but it didn't because i don't know where that file went it's gone somewhere it's gone in la la land give Moose a nice drink first. Hopefully, hopefully nobody's in the my spot. <clears throat> There's only two spots that you can get diesel and this is the easiest one to get to. And the other one's on the other side but it's hard to get Rusty in there. I mean Moose. Liters. Yeah, she, she had about a quarter tank left. Full tank. Nice.
All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.